Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be jumping into even more features that we released. If you want to have more information on the journal feature that we added, there is a separate video for that. So you can check out the link in the description to find out more. Okay, now let's dive into the new features that we recently added to FX Replay. Firstly, is going to be the go to price feature. So to access it, you go into the go to section, go to custom settings, scroll all the way down and make sure price is highlighted. Now, what's the purpose of this? It's to set it up so that you don't even have to wait or click through uh, price to understand when you need to be entering a position. So for example, if I wanted to wait until price got up into, let's say 150, big figure, I can go to set price, go to 150, and I can make sure that I can fast forward it only a, a maximum a day, but you can click minutes, hours, days, whatever you'd like. Um, so it doesn't fast forward too much of your session. But for example, if you get to if it gets to 150, the price, it will stop and then you can start to make your decisions from there. So let's see 150. And you can see there you go, we get to 150, it stops. And now we can make our decision on uh, what to do if we should be shorting or if we should be longing or what it is that we should be up to. Okay. So in this case, say for example, we'll enter on a short position and we will start to target these lows. Now I can set my position. There we go. And I want to introduce you to the second feature that we added is the tags. These are going to be custom tags. And again, this is going to be involved in the journal as well, but just a quick access right here in case you want to just quickly uh, tag your trade. So say, for example, we'll say that we have a big figure entry here and so on and so forth. However, you want to be tagging um, so that you collect the proper data for your strategy and you can save in journal. In this case, I'm just going to click save. Okay. And now the next feature will open this up and you can see on my current position here, I can actually click this button here and go to position closed. So what that is, is it's just going to fast forward throughout this whole trade to make things a lot more efficient, right? And optimized. So we can go to position closed, either it's going to be a stop loss or, a, or a take profit. Let's see. So it was directly into, into our stop loss. If I want to go back into the positions, I can now look at everything. And this is another new feature that we've been uh, that we rolled out today. And that is show your trades on the uh, chart history. So you can go back and you can start to see how well did you do or look at all of your trades in the past and start to see all of your uh, decision making. OK, if you don't want to see them in the risk to reward calculator, you can actually just set them like this. OK, so it shows the arrows uh, in your history. Additionally, if you want to go back to your trades, say, for example, on the 8th, I can just click this and it'll send me right to the 8th. So you can look at all your trades with just one click of a button. It's very, very simple and very user friendly. So really awesome stuff here, guys. Um, really excited about this. And I think you're going to get a lot of value through it to study your trades and, and really improve as a trader. Uh, the last feature that we have set up is this one right here. So we'll jump into the analytics and we scroll all the way down into the Monte Carlo simulation. So what this is doing, essentially, we're going to run 20 simulations and we'll say that each simulation has 300 trades. Now it's going to take your win rate, your average gain, your average loss, and it's going to run the simulation. And look at this. You can project how will my strategy based off of my results look in the, if I took 300 trades, now this is going to give you, uh, over the course of 20 different simulations. So you can get an average of what the, what it will, uh, more likely look like, right? Because if you're just running one simulation, it's highly probable that it, that you might not be there in, in 300 trades based off of your, your stats. So it's nice to run at least, you know, 20 simulations to understand where am I likely to be and where's the average. So that's more along the lines of what you're, you're likely to gain. Now let's dive into the indicators. Okay, so one of the new indicators that we updated was the sessions indicator. What I can do is I can go into it and I will show you guys how to operate it. So you can set up, if you don't want boxes, you can set up just the lines, the vertical lines. That's something new that we're doing. Also, if you wanna see the previous daily highs, the previous weekly highs, the previous monthly highs, we can have them all set up in here. So you can be trading based off of your higher time frame levels, which is really, really great. If you wanna show them, you can. If you wanna hide them, you can. You can even show the current daily high and the current weekly high. Uh, we also have a couple new indicators here that I won't go too in depth on, but you can see if we just type in FX replay or just FX, whatever you want, just to, just to organize them, it's better just to put an FX replay like 
like that. And so what you'll notice is we got some new indicators. So we have the VWAP, okay, we added that, we fixed that up. We have the DRIDR, we have that, and we had that before, but we added a couple of things to it. So now uh, if you're in that community, you'll have everything that you need to trade from that. We also added the ICT indicator. We also had the custom session indicator, okay? So all of those you now have, we have a bunch of new indicators coming in based off of your recommendations. And so I really, really hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for the continued support. And we hope to continue providing for you guys and, and providing everything that you need in order to backtest properly, efficiently, and really make progress in your trading. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for everything. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.